Hey everyone, it's been a while and trust me, it's nice to be here again. I'm back today unlocking some exciting news for iEvents. Just this quarter, they've hit a milestone by generating their first revenues from the recent FDA approved Amtag V. But here's the kicker, even with big wins on the horizon, they're still battling significant challenges. Could this be the turning point for iEvents and its investors? Stick around because we're diving deep into what's next for this innovative powerhouse. Let's go! I'm going to break down everything you need to know about their recent Q2 2024 earnings report, including their current shares offering, cash situation, expenses, and how long they can go without raising more money. Plus, we will discuss the role of Wayne Rothbaum, a key player on the compensation board of directors and why iAvance compensation strategy relies so heavily on equity. So stick around because this is going to be fascinating. All right, let's start with the latest financial updates from iAvance Q2 2024 earnings report. As of July 2024, iAvance has approximately 449 million in cash and cash equivalents. This includes about 200 million raised through an at-the-market equity financing facility during the second and third quarters of 2024. Something important to know, under the ATM facility, the company can sell shares of its stocks at prevailing market prices over time, rather than in a single large block, allowing iOvance to decide on a daily basis if they want to sell more shares to the market. This allowed to possibly sell shares at every popping price hurting badly short-term investors by flooding the market. This explains why a company with an FDA-approved treatment with great investors has its share price go back to the pre-FDA approval levels, which honestly really sucks for short-term investors. This sneaky dilution was necessary to assure having enough cash to continue their trials for their pipeline as well as to extend and tag V in the USA and around the world. So what does this mean? for their runway. With this cash position and expected product revenue, iAvance believes they have enough to fund their operations into early 2026. However, considering their quarterly expenses, this will require careful financial management as they keep expanding. Speaking of expenses for Q2 2024, iAvance reported a net loss of 97 million or 34 cents per share. While this is still significant, it's actually an improvement from the same period last year where the loss was 106 million or 47 cents per share. With iEvance revenue guidance for next quarter, we can expect the loss to gradually decrease until profitability. The positive take here is that the proof of concept has worked. AmTagV was approved by the FDA and it's actually selling and generating millions in revenue. The next step is to expand commercialization and use the same platform for other types of cancer iAvance has its strategies to be able to accomplish this success and having Wayne Rothbaum on board is a blessing in disguise. Wayne is not only a big shareholder, but also has a seat in the board of directors. Wayne is a member of the compensation committee. Wayne is known for his hands-on approach and extensive experience in biotech investments, ensuring that the leadership team's incentives are closely aligned with the company's success. His influence is key in steering the company's financial strategies, especially during this critical growth phase. Rothbaum's focus on long-term incentives aligns perfectly with iAvance's reliance on equity compensation. Now, let's dive into iAvance's compensation strategy. The company continues to rely heavily on equity rather than cash for compensation, uh, for its executives mostly. But why is that? This strategy isn't unique to iAvance. Many biotech companies prefer to use equity to conserve cash, which can be then funneled into research and development. For iAvance, this approach makes even more sense. Given their stage of growth and the capital intensive nature of their work, it's necessary to gather the cash. And here is where it gets interesting. During Q2 2024, iAvance distributed approximately 7.9 million shares as part of their executive compensation. This move is designed to keep the leadership team motivated and aligned with the company's long-term goals. 
This heavy reliance on equity compensation is a clear sign that Iovance is betting big on its future, ensuring that the leadership team has significant stake in the company's success. This approach not only helps to preserve cash for critical operational needs, but also ensures that the company's top talent remains focused on driving long-term value for us, the shareholders. While iOvance has faced challenges, including significant losses for $97 million this quarter, their strategic moves, revenue growth, and future projections make this company to watch closely. Their cash reserves of $449 million, along with strong product demand, will help fund their operations into early 2026. Additionally, iOvance Clinical Pipeline is progressing rapidly. Not only are they building on the success of MTAGV, but they're also advancing TIL therapies for non-small cell lung cancer, endometrial cancer, and other solid tumors. This pipeline will be a crucial part for iOvance's growth story in the coming years. And iOvance isn't stopping there. They're submitting marketing applications in the European Union and planning regulatory submissions in Canada, the UK, Australia, and other key markets. If these submissions are successful, it will open up MTAGV to more than 20,000 patients globally with advanced melanoma. The company is expanding its commercial footprint in the US and globally, with more than 50 centers across 29 states and aiming to onboard over 70 centers by the end of 2024. This level of strategic execution is key to driving future revenues, especially as more patients are located near treatment centers. It's not just about MTAGV. IOVANS is also generating significant revenue from Perlucan, which complements MTAGV's treatment and brought in 18 million in sales during Q2. All of this is reflected in their product revenue, which IOVANS projects to be between 160 and 165 million for full year 2024. MTAGV's growth has just begun and Iovance is projecting revenues of 53 to 55 million in Q3 2024, and a whooping 450 to 475 million for full year 2025. These are massive numbers that show how well the launch is going, with more than 55 patients already infused, including over 30 just in the third quarter. The growing adoption at authorized treatment centers is a strong indicator of increasing demand. As we approach Q3 earnings report, it's essential to understand that this may not be the next significant catalyst for the stock. The company has already provided guidance and outlook for this period, so much of what we will see in the report might already be baked into the current stock price. Because of this, the earnings report might have a limited impact, with investors potentially turning their attention to other upcoming catalysts. The more anticipated catalysts for eye events are likely tied to their ongoing clinical trials and data readouts. These are where the real potential for significant stock movement lies, especially we're looking at two key events. The first key event would be the data readout from the front MTAGV trial with Keytruda. This trial is particularly noteworthy because it's evaluating the combination of Iovan's tumor infiltrating lymphocyte with Merck's blockbuster drug, Keytruda. If the data from this trial comes back positive, it could be a game changer, drawing substantial interest and possibly driving significant upward momentum in the stock. The second key event and another major, major catalyst to watch is the upcoming updates from the Iovan's non-small cell lung cancer trial. Investors are keeping a close eye on this trial as its results could significantly impact the company's stock performance. Positive updates here could suggest a brighter future for iOvance, influencing its valuation and potentially setting the stage for regulatory approvals. These clinical trial updates are critical because they directly influence the company's future prospects. Positive data can open up new regulatory pathways and attract further investors' interest potentially driving significant movement in Iovance stock price. Iovance is in a critical phase. Their current cash reserves and equity compensation strategy are all geared towards one thing, which is bringing their groundbreaking therapies to market. Wayne Rothbaum's role is to make sure everyone has skin in the game, and so far, it seems like the strategy is well aligned with the company's goals. That's it for today's deep dive. And if you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Also, drop a comment below. What do you think about iOvance strategy? Are they on the right path? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching 
and I'll see you in the next one.